What is going on everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Exploring. Today we are at the Disneyland Resort. Number one, because we're here for Savannah's birthday. And number two, because I am finally blocked out. She has a blocked. signature, or finally blocked out, finally not blocked out from Disneyland. She has a signature, I have the deluxe, so we had that long period of block out dates. But finally, I am not blocked out. We were actually here last night, um, having some fun in Disneyland. So we were here for a couple hours and I filmed the Halloween merch that they have. So I'm gonna cut right to that right now and uh, show you guys the Halloween merch that they have in the world of Disney to offer this year. And then we'll cut back to the present day right now. So enjoy that clip from all the Halloween merch in the world of Disney right now. And then if we go to the right over here, they have a bunch of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Got a lounge fly bag right there. We got a Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt right here with Oogie Boogie right there. That looks really cool. We got some plush down here. Some ear headbands for the same normal price, $27.99. New this year. These are these cool looking villain shirts. They have like kind of a comic book feel to them. So they have a hook one, they have a gorilla one, a scar one. Let's see if they have any different ones. Oh yeah, there's an evil queen with an evil queen lounge fly. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming these are all just the same price as normal lounge flies. $80. They have the apple mug. Oh, look, there's a Jafar one, an Ursula one, a hyena one. The hyena one looks pretty cool. Some cool new Haunted Mansion ears. These are new. These are also glow in the dark. Those are really cool. Some purses. And we have this cool looking shirt right here, which this shirt is new. A puzzle. Yeah. Ages 10 and up. Well, that's probably like the regular Disney one. Don't do it. One day, we'll have to make a video on it. Over here, they're already prepping for Christmas with ornaments of Haunted Mansion. This one's really cool. May have to get this one for my tree. It has all the hitchhiking ghosts in it. So at the end, they'll see themselves riding in their own doom buggy. And then if we pan on over to the center, we got the overall Halloween merch that we typically don't see until this time of the year. Automatically right here in the center, we have some new merch. All of the villains have their own merch. Here's a giant Happy Halloween sign. And we have a projection down here, the same Happy Halloween 2019 World of Disney Disneyland. And this giant pumpkin trick or treat bucket of Mickey with candy corn. See, every year we got some trick or treat buckets down there. Said headbands over here, the cool new lounge fly backpacks with the candy corn bow. Some keychains right here. Another lounge fly pumpkin bag. That one's really cool. They're that same material as the, the ones I just got. Okay, so yeah, these headbands, some of these, if you guys don't like the. It's super hard. Yeah, it's like the toughness of the bow. And we don't recommend these because these bows are particularly like tough compared to the normal soft feeling. It's a cool little pumpkin decoration. Some more kid shirts, tons of treats and light up lanyards and necklaces and I don't know what you call those. Wands, light up wands. There you go. There's an idea of it. There is a Mickey trick or treat bag. Oh no, I dropped it. So we're too scared. Nope, I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah, a good guess. We turn over here. This is a flag. Here's another themed shirt that glows in the dark. Most of these shirts glow in the dark. Is that a mug or is that like something else? You don't know what it is? I don't know, what the, I think you just put candy in there. Here's a mug though, a little cauldron. An apron for the evil queen. More little candy treats. 
are the pretzels? The, what are they, white chocolate pretzels? I want them. They look mighty tasty. Thank you, Pascot. So today, we are gonna have some fun at Disneyland, DCA, all the good stuff. We're gonna see what's new at Disneyland. There's a couple minor things going on, and we're gonna see if we can find any more additional Halloween merch. And then I'm gonna show you guys the crowds, because last night when we got here, it was very empty. That's because school has starting up. So it is great, I love the crowds, I love there not being tons and tons of kids running around. It's great, we're gonna have a fun day at Disneyland. Let's go. Parking courtyard is nearly done, but not quite yet open. Once again, tons of construction work is working on it, and you can see the little seats starting to form around the trees down there. Looking beautiful, and you can see the paint going down as well. All the paving and such. Looking really nice. Soon it'll be open. I give it about three more weeks. Everybody ask me how I know. I smiled at them and said she told me so fine. Everybody ask me how I know. I smiled at them and said she told me so fine. Everybody ask me how I know. I smiled at them and said she told me so fine. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Came on in to the New Orleans Square area. 9.30 in the morning. And wow. It's a very much different scene here at Disneyland opposed to the crowds that are typically here. And we checked the wait times right now, all super low. For instance... Like five minutes Yeah, low. exactly, like five minutes. For instance, we're about to hop on an adventure with Indiana Jones. Because it said it was only 10 minutes, so let's see if it is only 10 minutes. Well, 10 minutes it is indeed, and I think 10 minutes is just how long it's going to take us to get through the whole entire queue. So in reality, there's no wait at all. Honey Adventure. It's not actually called that, but that's what I call it. So it's all about Honey and Winnie the Pooh. Let's go see Winnie the Pooh. Did you know it's Winnie the Pooh's birthday too? No, it's just you guys, you guys share a birthday watch. I'll show you right now. Yeah, I told you it was Pooh's birthday. I just, I can predict stuff, you know? He celebrated his birthday like every single day of his life though. <laughs> it is now 10.30 and I still have plenty of room to walk without bumping into people every second. Definitely, right now is the time to come. If you're planning a trip to Disney, come on a weekday. Do not come on a weekend. If you can, come on a weekday. If you can't prevent it, obviously you have to come on a weekend, but weekdays are dead. It's been a while since we've seen Disney like this. It's been a long while. Heading into the Haunted Mansion store, let's see what new merch they have. That bag's new, I haven't seen that. They also have been releasing these wishables, a lot of them. What are they? Are they just little small squeezy toys? Squeezy. Squeezy. Oh, they're right here. Prime example. Why do you do squeezy? I don't know. They're $9.99. They also have a little kids tea up here. The Game of Life Haunted Mansion. Let's see, do they have any 50th merch left over? They do. Got this blanket down here. And soon, regarding the Haunted Mansion, we'll see Jack Skellington and his friends from the Nightmare Before Christmas take over as the holiday season starts on September 6th with all the Halloween stuff. So make sure to get out to Disneyland on September 6th to experience Haunted Mansion Holiday, one of my favorite holiday overlays. It's now time for some Matterhorn fun. And as of recent, the ride was shut down temporarily, or one side has been shut down, until they fixed a rock that fell off. It didn't hurt anybody, but it fell off. It was a small little rock. If you come from the Main Street area, you can see on the waterfall over there, there's a giant thing of tarp. And that is where the rock fell off. It's not too big, everyone was acting like it was insane, but it wasn't too big. I know the tarp looks big, but I promise you, the rock that fell off was very tiny, just to cover up and not ruin the Disney magic, you know? But it was just a tiny rock, it's just a big thing 
of scrim. Nice ears you got there. <laughs> now, these construction walls, these temporary construction walls have been placed up in front of the Tomorrowland entrance, and that's because the removal of these rocks is happening. Now, I don't know how many rocks they're gonna remove, if they're just gonna remove some of the big ones over here, or if they're gonna remove all these. But basically, it's just to help with crowd control and stuff, because it does get very crowded. I believe right over here is like a little cast member lounge inside of the rocks. So I'm not too sure if they're destroying this one, but I think that it'd be good if they do. That way this whole area would get freed up. Like there you can see the construction walls. So it gets a very packed here during parades and fireworks and stuff. So it's good that they're finally removing these. They have all the Halloween pin options out here. They're all available. Definitely a lot more than it had last year. I bought the BB-8 pumpkin one yesterday. Cause I mean, look at it. Like, why wouldn't you want that? That one's ten dollars. These are really cool. I'm also considering getting this one. I really like this one. Mickey pumpkin. And it says Happy Halloween 2019. So I know what year I got it. Oh, there's zero. They also have all the Nightmare Before Christmas options. That is um, Sally's dad, crazy dad. That's Sally. I know you've never watched Nightmare Before Christmas, but I also really like that Pluto dressed up as a mummy. What a beautiful day at Disneyland it is. And one thing that I was troubling to get, what's, what's the word that I'm looking for? Adjusted. Adjusted, there you go. Is that when we walked in, it was so quiet. And right now, it is so quiet here. All you can hear is the music and the silent murmurs of people talking. Other than that, it's so quiet out here. It's a beautiful day. Now let's go over to DCA and see if the crowds are similar over there as they are over here in Disneyland. Now let's go check out how Marvelland is doing. Also, the Main Street Electrical Parade is back here at Disneyland. It returned a couple weeks ago and it runs until September 30th, I believe. We had the opportunity to watch that last night as well. So I'll put a couple clips of the Main Street Electrical Parade in right now. That's a great question. Let me ask. Have you ever seen a dragon before? <laughs> me either. Not until I met Elliot, of course. So as of right now, all these construction walls are at the front of DCA, and that's to prep the refurbishment of the red trolley cars. Because they haven't been open for a couple months now, and they're set to open, I think, next year in January. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Not too sure. But I know for sure that these construction walls are for the red trolley car refurbishment. But the bathrooms are open over here. You just walk right around the walls, as well as the ATM and the lockers right over here to my left. If you're looking at wait times, it appears that the dead crowds are not the same over here as they are over at Disneyland as mainly everything's over 45 minutes, where at Disneyland, everything's under 45 minutes. But if we pan over to the left right here, we see Marvelland and the Spider-Man attraction. An interesting thing about Spider-Man is Sony and Disney are no longer on good terms. It was announced a couple days ago that they have split. And basically what that means is Spider-Man is pulled from the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe which means that they are not going to make any movies, any Marvel movies, with Spider-Man. Now, if Sony decides to make a Spider-Man movie, that will be a whole different thing, but as far as the MCU goes, we will no longer see Spider-Man in it. 
Although, over here at GCA, we have the Spider-Man attraction. So it's quite interesting to see how this is gonna pan out. From my current knowledge, they're keeping Spider-Man attraction. It's gonna stay the same. They're not planning on building or re it to something else. So they're already in construction. And you can check out my full details of what's gonna be in the ride and everything. Click the link down in the description. We made a whole video about that. But as far as I know, they are keeping the Spider-Man attraction. They're building up right now and it's gonna stay the Spider-Man theme. Now something could change. I doubt they would change it, but something could change. That's all I'm saying. D23 is this weekend, so you never know. I'm gonna get a couple different angles from over here to see the Spider-Man facade right now. It looks like they painted a lot of it blue. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the blue paint being painted, which is good news because we haven't seen much being done with this. But seeing that blue paint gives us fans excitement. Now we're getting closer to the opening of Marvel Land. And you can see there's more shape forming in there. It looks like there's little windows. All good stuff happening out here at DCA. Definitely progress though. I'm just curious to see what information we gain from the D23 Expo about Marvel and in general and Spider-Man. If we'll touch up on the topic of it getting pulled from the MCU or not. As it is a bit of a controversial topic right now. We'll see. Spider-Man, the facade definitely coming along. There's also gonna be a Ant-Man brewery towards the back area and other gift shops as well. But to see that construction, we'd have to go on the pal around. And currently the pal around is an hour wait. So not today, but next time we come out to Disney, we'll do it. Here's just to get a gist of how the crowds are. It's not too crazy, but still pretty packed over here. Definitely Disneyland is a move though, as it is a lot slower over there. I think we're gonna head out though. Nonetheless though, if you guys are confused on what the Spider-Man attraction is gonna be, I believe, just from the pictures that they showed this, this isn't confirmed, but I think that it's gonna be a lot like the Spider-Man attraction over at Universal Orlando's Islands of Adventure. Now it's not the same ride vehicle, but I think it's gonna be very similar to that from the pictures. Which kind of scares me because I'm hoping Disney goes above and beyond and creates some new stunning technology for this ride. It's a completely different ride. I'm hoping, but from the pictures, that's what it looks like. Like I said, we'll have more information at D23 Expo if we don't already right now. And that does it for today's trip to the Disneyland Resort. A good birthday? Yeah, it was fantastic. Good birthday. It was fun seeing what's new and it was fun, most of all, returning to Disneyland. I can't, I can't speak right because the sun is getting to me. But that does it for this video. If you want to check us out on social media, check us out at SoCal Explorer Media on Instagram, at SoCal Explorer on Twitter, and click that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Lastly, visit our website, SoCalExploring.com. We will see you all in the next one. I have been Scott. I have been Savannah. The birthday girl. <laughs> Positivity's key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace. Just